Hello everyone, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, it's raining over here in California. Well, I'm in El Cajon actually, in California. But it's raining. It's been raining since yesterday. But uh, I just want to come to you guys to bring some awesome message that I found, you know, to be something I'm left to do today. I did a, a different recording earlier, but for some reason I just wasn't feeling right about it. So I choose not to post that one. Um, but this one I will post. So as you can see from the image from my wonderful editing, um, Jesus is no longer on the cross. He has never been on the cross for over 2000 years now. Of course, after he was taken down from the cross, he never went back there. So why on earth do people still place Jesus on the cross with these images that you see? I think it's blasphemous to have a, a cross with Jesus hanging on it. I mean, come on people. You gotta be real, y'all. You know? If Jesus is no longer on the cross, why is your Jesus still on the cross for? Do you enjoy watching him being crucified? Please, people, let's not do a Roman Catholic, you know, thing, walking around with Jesus still on the cross. Just saying, I came out from Roman Catholic religion. I grew up as a Catholic, so I know what I'm talking about. Um, but Jesus is no longer on the cross, y'all, you know? okay? He's never been on the cross since he got off from the cross, okay? Um, with that being said, also the tomb is empty. Why? Because he's alive, you know? Jesus is no longer dead. He's alive, okay? Uh, he's been alive for a long time now, okay? For, well, he's always been alive, but anyway, he had to die in order for, you know what I mean, to do what he wanted to do, okay? And people will say something, God never dies. Well, you know what? Jesus chose to, okay? And was resurrected again. So, again, not gonna argue with people anymore. I mean, you have to get to that point. Either you believe or you don't. You know, we are past the stage of you know trying to argue with people. I'm at the point right now. Either you believe or you don't. Up to you. But hopefully, you 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 have the opportunity during the tribulation, and you're not promised that because there's gonna be some chaotic things happening. So you might not even survive to to get the opportunity to believe. So today is the day of salvation so you better believe today you know anyway with that i just want to point out let us keep looking up because jesus is coming and that's what's important same jesus that rose he is coming to reveal himself to us and take us okay he is coming um so let that be your encouragement today i really don't have much to say today I'm just not feeling <laughs> that I have too much to emphasize on other than you must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ if you have not done so he is coming you know that's gonna be my message going forward he is coming focus on him now with that being said let's go to the word Colossians 3 okay let's go give me a second chapter 3. Therefore, if you have been raised up with Christ, keep seeking the things above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on the things above, not on the things that are on earth, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Bingo. Therefore, Consider the members of your earthly body as dead to immorality, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which amounts to idolatry. For it is because of these things that the wrath of God will come upon the sons of disobedience. Which we're not. And in them impressed. you also once walked when you were living in them. Mm -hmm. But now you also put them all aside. Anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive speech from your mouth. Do not lie to one another since you laid aside the old self with its evil practices and have put on the new self who is being renewed to a true knowledge according to the image of the one who created him. A renewal in which there is no distinction between Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free man, but Christ is all and in all. So, as those who have been chosen of God, holy and beloved, put on a heart of compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience, bearing with one another and forgiving each other. 
Whoever has a complaint against anyone, just as the Lord forgave you, so also should you. Beyond all these things, put on love, which is the perfect bond of unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ richly dwell within you, with all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with thankfulness in your hearts to God. Whatever you do, in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. All right. So that's my message for y'all today. You know, pretty much, um, if you want, you could go back and read uh, Colossians 3. But I just want you guys to stay encouraged. Keep your eyes on Christ, guys. Remember, I keep saying that. Eyes on Jesus. Eyes on Jesus. You know, don't worry about things here on earth. All these things will pass away, you know. Soon, it, it will be forgotten, you know, okay? Okay. Um, so focus on what will be remembered and what actually stands. What everything in heaven, everything that has to do with God stands. Okay, earthly stuff is meaningless. Don't chase after wealth. Don't chase after anything here. Chase after God. Put put, put that same energy chasing after Jesus. Okay, you know. So a lot of times, you know, people, you know, when you bring up Jesus, and eh, you know, they kind of push him in on the side, like you know, you know, I get to him. You know, you know, when I have chance, you know, but then you talk about how to make money. Oh, yeah. Hey, sign me up. Oh, man. You know, yeah. They'll take all kind of courses and do anything because that's where the focus is. People, I'm not saying not to make money to take care of your family or so, but that should not be your ultimate goal in life. You know what I'm saying? The ultimate focus should be all about Jesus. That's it. The one who died for you. And with that being said, if you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, please do so today time is running out and since time is running out he is coming okay you need to keep your focus on jesus here he is coming back and i'm going to tell you this if you have not believed on lord jesus christ it's a first first corinthians 15 1 through 4 that is the gospel christ died for our sins according to scriptures uh was buried and on the third day rose again according to scriptures you know as we celebrate this passover understand this Jesus Christ is no longer on the cross. He is risen. He's risen indeed. Okay? With that being said, that if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart a person believes, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth he confesses, resulting in salvation. For the scripture says, whoever believes in him will not be disappointed. But there is no distinction between Jew and Greek, for the same Lord is Lord of all, abounding in riches for all who call on him. For whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Call in the name of Jesus today. Believe in him. Trust him. The self existed, always existed, okay? Sinless, lived among us, okay? Went to that cross and paid for our sin death, okay? With his precious blood. All you have to do is believe that he is the son of God, you know, and also that what he did on the cross was for you. He paid for your sins, past, present, and future on that cross, okay? You must trust and believe on him to be saved. Ephesians 2, 8, 9, I love this scripture. For by grace are we saved through faith. It is not of ourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, lest any man should boast. You can't boast before God about saying what you did or, or you know what you did for Him. You cannot do that because everything is done by God Himself. All this whole salvation plan was all planned out by God from the beginning. Okay, He made all that plans all by Himself. He didn't need your approval or your permission, and neither does He need your approval or permission to change His words. So His word stands. What you need to do is do exactly what He says. Remember this, obedience is better than sacrifice. It's not about going about what you think God will like. Just do what he says. Simple as that. Believe on him. That's it. Don't add anything to the grace. Don't add anything to salvation. Either you believe or you don't. You know. And if someone tells you, well, you must speak in tongues, you must be baptized to be saved, that is not the gospel. Okay? That's not the gospel. I just gave you the gospel and what you must do to be saved. That's it. If it were so, God would have told you himself what he wants you to do. Extra. 
but he didn't. When he says it is finished, yeah, that's exactly what that means. It is finished does not mean, oh, but. There's no but there. It is finished it is exactly, is is finished, okay? So with that being said, guys, time is running out. Jesus is coming. Please believe on the gospel. I'm really, like, I'm at a point where I'm like, you know what? Should I even keep making these videos? But I feel like I have to keep wanting until we're raptured out of here. Jesus is coming, okay? You don't want to be here for the tribulation. That's a promise. You know, whatever you, you're thinking in your mind or you, you want to downplay this, you might not have that opportunity, man. I'm just telling you, no one is promised tomorrow. None of us are. Or the next five minutes, none of us are. Anything can happen, okay? I mean, things happen all the time to people and they don't plan for it, you know what I mean? Take your life, for example. There's incident that's happening in your life that you did not see coming, but it did happen, you know? Guess who knew about it right from the beginning of the creation of the world? God did. Trust on, on him who knows everything, okay? Not on yourself. Anyway, I hope you guys found this message to bless your heart today. Please stay encouraged, okay? I know, again, you know, things are hard for some people. Some people are going through anxiety, you know what I'm saying? Or just get tired of waiting. Don't get tired at all, okay? If you feel like, you know, you, you're kind of getting depressed, focus back on God. Go, go back and read scriptures, okay? And encourage yourself. Sing praises to God, okay? Sing praises and that should uplift your spirit. Talk to him in prayer, you know? Just have a conversation, you know? Just talk to God. Let him know, this is what's bothering me. I really don't want to feel this way, but please help me, you know? And God hears us. He will answer because he is faithful, okay? We have a faithful God and who is also true. So, anyway, there's no other way anyone can make it into heaven except through Jesus Christ. Jesus is Lord. And that's the final message. There is no other way, okay? If it's not Jesus, you ain't going in. It's plain and simple. So believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today. This world is about to face some things no one has ever seen since the creation of this world. I'm telling you right now, if Jesus said it himself, you could best believe it's happening because everything else he said to happen already happened. Look up, guys. Jesus is coming. Okay? Peace. Love you.